Wow. FPP Super Monobath. Monobath Film Chemistry for Black and White Film. This is for folks who develop their film at home. It's one step. Today we're going to develop two worlds of John Fideli's film, right John? Yes. You do need tra traditional gear in order to use the monobath. You need your tank and reels. You would load your film onto these reels in the dark. Also on the super monobath, it's recommended develop for three to five minutes at 75 degrees. Well, I like to do it five minutes. The way a monobath works is that once you pour your magic elixir into your tank, What's happening is the first activation on your film emulsion is the developer. Developing, developing, developing. Then what happens is the fixer, so developer and fixer is in one elixir. The fixer then overpowers the developer and then takes over. Think of it as a possession. <laughs> Can I push or pull with monobath? And the answer uh, uh, is no, you can't because this is a fixed chemistry that the developer kicks in, then after a certain amount of time, the fixer kicks in. And that is why you can extend your time because you're, you won't be overdeveloping. What you'll be doing is extending your fixer, which to me is always a good thing. I'm going to load up these two rolls of film and then we'll come back over in the FPP slop sink and we'll, de <laughs> and we'll develop our film. Hey, we're back. I have two rolls of film loaded into our tank. I always put a piece of paper tape so I know what's going on. We have two rolls, level one and level two. On the bottom is Ferrania P30, black and white film. Uh, these are both shot by John Fideli. Of course, he never knows what camera he shot with, so I just put a question mark. Maybe, John, when you see the shots, maybe you'll be like, oh. I don't remember. Yeah. Developer FPP Super Monobath. Top is FPP Wolfman 100. Terrific. Woo! So the first thing we're going to do, uh, as you know, when you develop any black and white film, to do a rinse, I usually do a rinse three or four times. Okay, so that's our water rinse, right? Let's pour it out. And you just want to get all those dyes out before you put your developer in. I'm going to do a third one. With any photochemistry on the container, I usually uh, mark how many rolls so I can keep track of it. I also uh, put the date so I know like when I opened it. So today is uh, 9 5 in the year 2025, uh, and I'm going to be developing two rolls. One, two. Uh, develop for three to five minutes at 75 degrees. I'm going to do it for five minutes because it does not harm it to do it a little bit longer. If anything, you'll have a little bit more fixing your film a little bit longer. Also, important to know the, the Super Mono Bath is not for all black and white films, it is for most black and white films and we have kept a tally. Go to the description section and you'll see a link to our blog by Leslie Lazenby about the Super Monobath. And in that blog, if you scroll down, you'll see all of the approved films. If you have a black and white film that is not in that list, we do not have any information. So you will need to, you know, you'll be a pioneer. You'll be testing that out. And by all means, uh, shoot us an email. Let us know like, hey, I developed uh, BC BBC 400. And that came out great. Here we go. You know, while I'm doing this, I don't measure anything out. Some folks do. I just keep my eye on the top. When I see the elixir, when I see it getting to the very top, there it is, satisfied. Now, you will turn right here, put the clock on, five minutes, and I am going to agitate every 30 seconds. You know, when I agitate, it's just kind of like chuka, 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 chuka. Oh, okay. The recommended is 3.5 minutes. I say five. Here we are. We've been agitating every 30 seconds. Terrific. So with this particular uh, photochemistry, it is reusable. You'll get about, I mean, for me personally, I say like 10 to 15 rolls. Uh, consult the website, our blog. So, okay, let's pour it back. We're going to firmly cap our chemistry. And what I do is I squeeze the bottle to get as much air out of the, the bottle before you cap it. This way, there's not a lot of air in the bottle, less oxidation of your photochemistry. And then store this somewhere away from the bright sun. So here we are. We're going to do a rinse. Uh, some folks who develop at home use something called a uh, stop bath. That's another uh, step. 
Uh, I don't use ever use stop bath solution. I use what's known as a water stop. We all have our different techniques. By all means, if you use stop bath, if that makes you happy, keep on doing it. Now, when you're done with your film, traditionally, I would use what's known as archival wash, which is another step that kind of like speeds up the rinsing process. Otherwise, you need to uh, let the water flow to rinse your film. I usually do this for about, I don't know, five minutes or so. Really? Yeah. We'll speed things up here today because, you know, we're just doing this for the video and it's only John's film. <laughs> <laughs> but the archival wash is highly recommended and I know we're all anxious to see our images. Also, the last step in black and white home developing is to add photo flow. In this case, I use FPP Fideli Flow. Yeah. You can also use a drop of dishwashing liquid, by the way. The top roll is Wolfman 100. And we're looking for images, folks. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. P30. Oh, my goodness. The great thing about P30 is... The contrast. The contrast is incredible, right? Yeah. And that's because Ferrania P30 has high silver content. Mm. Look at that. Very successful day here with FPP Super Mono Bath. It's a quick, easy way to uh, develop your film in one step. It's highly recommended. As I mentioned, it's not for all films and not for everyone, but you know, maybe it's for you. It's available not only at thefilmphotographystore.com, but you can also get this at your favorite retailer. So ask for it. FPP Super Mono Bath. Ask for it by name. That's right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, John. We're going to reward ourselves tonight at Bella Vida.